What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica. So in the last episode we got the cure. Unfortunately, the queen is no longer with us. She is down for the count. But that is all right. We got what we need. She lived her life. Hopefully you made her happy at the end. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on the videos and the whole channel as a whole pretty much because we just hit 40,000 subscribers, which is insane. I can't thank you guys enough for your support. So First thing I want to talk about is something that I clearly missed. Clearly missed. And that was the fact that um, there was uh, this teleporters that are, you know, over on uh, the other way. They, uh, they kind of take you to the places that you need for all the ingredients. I had no idea about that, to be completely honest. I had no idea because, I mean, I thought it was just like a, like a hub transportation kind of thing like that's that's kind of what I thought it was but apparently each one of these teleporters will take you to an area that contains an ingredient that you need for the hatching enzyme which is uh yeah we didn't figure that out so but yeah now you guys know and uh yeah so I'm pretty excited about that but what we're doing this episode is we are actually going to de deactivate the like the the protection system the quarantine system we're going to deactivate that and then we're going to see if we can't trigger the sunbeam because uh somebody commented and they said that it is different actually if you deactivate it first something else happens so i'm really curious about that i've never seen it I've never watched a video on it so if you guys know it uh well you obviously can't spoil it because i'm recording it now and i can't hear what you guys are saying but uh yeah so i'm gonna definitely take a look at that but as always if you guys like the video don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and once we're done with all this stuff we have a lot of stuff to do, but we're not going to end the Subnautica there. We're not going to end it. We are going to keep going because there's things I want to build. There's things I want to do. Um, I primarily want to get a bunch of these ion samples so we can make some, you know, ion batteries for all our gear because we're going to be using a lot of gear in the future. Lots of gear. Um, you know, I could always come back for it because my plan was to leave here. What was that? Oh, I just got close. My plan was to leave here, take the Cyclops back out, back to the surface. I don't want to leave the Cyclops just chilling, you know? I, like, I, I, don't, I don't want to do that. And we always have access to this guy. It's super close, very easy to get to. Um, the only problem is I don't think we can bring the Subnaut- the, the Subnautica. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Seamoth, because it'd be nice if we could take the Seamoth through the teleporter. However, we're currently at 14, 35 meters deep. So it'd probably crush it. So that's kind of unfortunate. But I'm going to wait for this guy to finish. I'm going to head back, grab the Cyclops, make my way out make my way back to the base it's gonna take a minute but we're gonna do it and uh yeah we're gonna start from there so i will see you guys in just a minute oh time to go time to go oh, okay okay time to go Jeez louise he's gonna attack us okay oh my gosh you know i've never actually really encountered that guy like super up close and personal luckily he doesn't look like he actually like tracks you looks like he just blows fireballs at you and then kind of forgets about you and continues on his way Oh my gosh, that was super scary. I'm sorry. I was definitely not going to uh, make a cut until we got back, but that was like, <laughs> oh, that was way too close. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're heading back. Sorry. That was, that was close, a little close for comfort, but we're going to head back and I think I'm going to grab gold and silver on the way because that will allow me to make the ion battery. So I'm going to grab a whole bunch of that as well. Um, so if I come back with a ton of gold and silver, well, that's, that's where I got it from. So uh, yeah, just so you guys know. Alrighty, so we made it back to base and we grabbed some things and some stuff and we're gonna build some batteries. We're gonna build, um, actually we're gonna build all these ion batteries. All of them. All of the ion batteries and then I do want to make one power cell. <laughs> I want to put it in the CMOS. So, um, I'm actually pretty excited to be back at the regular base because I missed the CMOS. It's a lot faster to get from place to place. Uh, definitely, definitely faster to get from place to place. Uh, I think I only had six ion cubes. And that is it. Boom, look at that. Six of those bad boys. And I need some silicone rubber. Do I even have any silicone rubber? I, oh, 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 we have more ion cubes. Okay, we have one silicone. Actually, you know what? That's really all I needed right now. Any hoozles. So we'll go ahead and make that bad boy. Oh, yes. Wonderful power cells. Okay, so let's go place this guy. Where's my Seamoth at? It must be docked. You docked? That's weird. You don't have a little, uh, you don't have a deal. You don't have a deal. That's fine. It's fine. All right, so now our battery should be pretty, uh, 
200 out of 200. Our battery's fully charged. However, we now have 1,000 out of 1,000. That is right, boys and girls. It's five times as powerful. Right? Yeah, five times as powerful. So, yeah, pretty, pretty exciting stuff there. So, first thing we're going to do... Well, let's go check out the island over yonder. You know what's funny? Is before, it seemed like this was a long ways away, and it does not seem so far now. Not, not after going back and forth from the Lost River to up here to the Lava Zone to, like, the Queen's, like, holding cell to... It was just terrible. It was... Well, actually, it wouldn't have been that bad if I would have used the warp gates to grab all the stuffs. That would have been nice. That would have been super nice. But we need to go deactivate this weapon and then go listen to the radio and see if we can't get something different. And I'm curious, I'm really curious, like what would happen because, um, I mean like, what? I mean, unless they had like technical difficulties like coming in, you know, like hitting turbulence or something, but like turbulence doesn't bring stuff down very easily. If you can fly through space, it should, you know, you know what I mean? Like if they got it out into space, then they should be able to land it in this, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> uh, that's, that's besides the point. So, we're actually gonna pop down through the, uh, like the, the vehicle bay area. So it's a little bit closer. Oh, also fun little tidbit. Um, I haven't seen the little sea emperors anywhere. They're little balls of goo are over here. And I mean, I guess we could maybe follow them. I doubt that's how it works though. But as you see, they're they're all here. But I I don't see. Oh, well, I mean, yes, there's there's some more right here, and there's one right here. Oh, there's the Leviathan. Is there? See, I don't I don't know I don't know. I'm curious where they run off to. Will we ever see them again? Probably not. It'd be kind of cool though, if you were out like doing stuff, and you were like getting attacked by a Reaper Leviathan, and then one of those guys came out and just like took it down, you know, just like what? Karate chopped it, judo chopped its neck or something, and then like talk to you, and then there's like secretly a whole another storyline that nobody knew about. That'd be. <laughs> Anyways, okay, can I please get up here? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have to go. Uh, oh no, it's right here. I was like, we have to go all the way down. Wait a second, is this the warp gate? That's the warp gate. I think the room I'm looking for is upstairs. Darn it. I was hoping it'd be right here. All right, let's deactivate this bad boy. Hopefully it works. All right, I'm ready. Go ahead. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh! We deactivated it. We did it. I wish we could see outside right now what's going on. Oh, it's so creepy sounding now. It's like we just killed the power. Oh, it's so weird. A little laggy. Oh, geez, that was a heck of a fall. I did not think we were that far away. Okay, we deactivated it. We deactivated it. We deactivated it. Let's hop in here. Let's go see if there's anything on the outsides. I don't believe that there is. Um, I think, you know what? Actually, I think it's pointing down now. Still no, uh, no little sea dragons. Hmm. I would really like to see those again. I think it'd be cool if you could see them. Like, swimming about, you know? Oh, yes! See? It's it's facing downward. Oh, man, I really wish we could have saw that. That would have been really cool. All right, now, let's go listen to the radio and see if we can't get some sunbeam action in here. Hmm. I'm actually half tempted to... Now, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I think it actually says to get to the rendezvous point and then they come in. That way you don't miss it. So I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna hit the button. Hopefully it's the right message, and uh, we'll hop back over here. So I gotta say, let, let's just take a minute here. We landed in this thing right here, Life Pod Five, and we managed to not only stay alive, build some amazing submersibles, 
but to cure an entire planet of a disease that they could not cure themselves. How cool is that? Aurora, we're approaching oh, the planet now. Here we go. We have a landing site for you. That's here we go. Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've said you. Okay. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Send me out. Oh, let's see what happens. 39 minutes? Are you serious? Do I really have to wait? Do I have to really wait 40 minutes for this to happen? What? Hopefully when I get there, it'll uh, trigger and speed up. All right, we're here. We have 38 minutes to spare. Let's go ahead and take a peek. And is this going to speed up anything? No. It's it's not. <laughs> I really have to wait 40 minutes for this. Oh my gosh. Uh, can we like key? Okay, well, I'll be back in 40 minutes. All right, so we still have a solid seven minutes left now. I was getting a little bored just sitting here, so I was out doing some things. And you can actually sleep, and that will cause your time to go down a little bit. But uh, I figure, you know what, let's, uh, let's do something here with this. Oh, can you not place it on the land? Well, that's really unfortunate. I was really hoping to place it like right here. Why is it up so high? Hmm. What if we do this? Nope. It does not want to place on the land. You know what? That's fine. We'll go up here. We got a few minutes left. Uh, you know what though? This is probably the best spot to do this. Let's just do it like right here. I'm about to get attacked by a crab. Okay, yeah, there's that. Legs. Yeah! Now, hopefully, I can get up there via this rock. Maybe not. Come on. Huh? Yeah, we made it. All right. Cool. So there's that. Now, let's go ahead. <clears throat> Sorry. Do we want a swivel chair or an office chair? Let's do a command chair. Wait, why won't this work? Uh, you know why? It's because it's not in a building. Well, that's a problem. That is a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I guess I have enough for that, but I don't have enough for a window. Oh, I should have made the observatory. Hmm. I mean, I have I have a piece of glass. That takes two. I mean... Should, should we try it? Yeah, <laughs> why not? Why not? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to make a hatch, though. To get in, huh? And a hatch, it's gonna take quartz. I wonder if I can find quartz really fast. I might be able to. You know what? This is just a bad idea. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Let's just cancel this. Cancel this idea. Take it down. Taking her down. I was really hoping we could place the chair right there, but we can't place the chair because it's on this. I don't think you can place anything, can you? you can place this? No. Can't place that. Darn it. Oh, man. What if we did... Uh, what if we deconstruct this one? And just throw one of these guys in. Oh, I want to be like right here. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. That's fine. We'll just wait. We'll just we'll just stand here. I was hoping to have like a little platform, you know, a chair, a table. We got some snacks and some drinks and some beverages and whatnot, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work for us. That's really unfortunate, because I would have to get more quartz and stuff, so we'll just hang out, we'll just wait. And actually, you know what, let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now, actually. It's like you read my mind. Boom. Good to go. We are in good health. We're ready. All right. Let's wait three minutes. We'll be back. All right, we have 30 seconds left. Wait. What's happening? It's not moving. It sounds like it's moving. It's playing the exact same scene? 
No. It's not do Survivor, it. we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending oh, towards it's... the landing site. Oh, no. There's nothing you can do. Down there. What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, no. Hold on. No turning back now. I thought we could save him. Everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. You've got to be kidding me. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. No. Oh, I thought we could save it. Or at least I thought there'd be a different. Uh, it's exactly the same. We deactivated it. We deactivated it. And it still did it. I guess the game was just not hit. It was just not meant to be. Alrighty. Well. I. Oh, <laughs> now it's back. Oh, man. Now I kind of wish I would have just saw the regular cutscene because it, it's kind of neat when that thing starts moving and like aligning and makes all the sounds pretty cool. Ew, that was like a huge letdown. Like a huge letdown. There was there was nothing different about it. I thought for sure there'd be something different. But there wasn't. Not a thing. Not a single thing, darn it. Alrighty then. Well, I mean, I guess that's that. There's nothing else I can really do about that. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, uh... It's, it's kind of done. And now it's doing its, like, cooldown thing. Oh, man. Curious if anything else happens. I don't think so. Ah, oh, see, oh, man. I'm just like I'm, I, you know, I feel like it, it. I knew that was gonna happen. It was just gonna just cut out. It was gonna do the exact same thing. But I was hoping, I was really hoping that they'd give you something different. Like even if it like came down to the surface. And then a giant Reaper Leviathan came out and like destroyed it. That would have been epic. That would have been absolutely epic. But just to have it cut to the regular scene was kind of a letdown. I'm gonna say. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So uh, yeah. Well, we built some ion batteries. We unfortunately watched the sunbeam get destroyed. I thought we would hopefully see something else, but I guess not. Comments led me wrong. <laughs> I I didn't notice anything different about it other than it just doesn't move it shoots it and then it just glitches back to where it was which is unfortunate ah <sighs> so the sunbeam's been destroyed that's super unfortunate however we still have some messages we can check out let's check them out see what we got now this is life pod four we've landed close to the aurora flotation device is active but we've got some big old fish in the water with us and i don't know how long we're gonna last we're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates correct. How long ago? Origin recorded to date to bank. How long ago was I supposed to listen to that? Oh my gosh, that was a long time ago. Uh, they're still calling out life pods? Uh, we already fixed the planet, you know? Hmm. I was kind of hoping I'd get another one. Alrighty. Well, that's unfortunate. So, I guess in the next episode, I kind of know what's happening. In the next one and I uh, I didn't want to cut this one so short but I don't really have a choice because I kind of ran out of time recording with having to wait 45 minutes so tomorrow's episode is gonna be a little bit better uh, I'm gonna do some like prep work oh I added this little thing right here I added this side because like I said uh, when we we're down in the Lost River I thought it'd be kind of cool to make our own like research station facility thing so I think we're gonna work slowly on building like an epic base uh absolutely nuclear reactor kind of power and all the rooms and like tanks for stuff and just you know just things like that so um yeah all coming up but next episode we're going to be doing something i believe it's going to be with the aurora again and getting some blueprints for some big big old fun stuff but uh yeah that's unfortunately going to end this episode guys hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well and i will see you in the next one